Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading and the free audio program, the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders, are both free downloads to help you develop the skill set, the mindset, the discipline to master the markets. The link is down below in the box, the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Good day, trader Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, and today uh, just discussing uh, what I would consider the sixth sense in trading. Uh, charts the last couple of days have been very slow moving and staying within fairly narrow ranges, and that is a, a dead giveaway to me to be very cautious and to tip toe through potential minefields. And so today was sort of a, an easy day to basically avoid the market and only look for one or two instruments that potentially may have offered an opportunity. Uh, upon waking this morning for me, North American time, uh, the pound yen and the euro yen had both moved significantly in the London sessions. And again, we're on day three from the reversal point from the low of the week. Last week, coming out of a bottom of a 100 pip box, we had the big move on payrolls. Yesterday broke the high of Friday and then broke down in Asia and then further into the Europe London Open on the Euro Yen. So we have a day one, day two, day three. So coming to the screen in North American time, my first thought was uh, potentially low hanging fruit opportunities. Uh, both the Euro Yen and the Pound Yen had moved quite a bit in the London session. Again, very similar the pound yen potentially further. We had a breakout of Friday's high on Monday on the gap. We talked about the, the gap up on the potential bull flag, which essentially that gap is a bull flag, the higher lows, and then the breakout in the U.S. session that failed heading into the new day. So we have a breakout of the high of last Thursday. So we bring that high of the day across that peak formation and then the close but that broke down in the gap time and further collapsed through the London Europe London window so this is an example of what I automatically think of is the hot chick the we've talked about this before don't chase the hot chick but we want to look at the pairs that potentially may move in sy synergy uh, that maybe haven't moved yet that potentially may move later and that made me look at the US yen so we had a breakout on Monday out of the high of the day from the Asian session after the large pump up on payrolls. We have our reversal at the low of the week last week, the breakout that failed from Wednesday, and then the large move up on payrolls. That took out the high of the current week, but we had the breakout of the high of the day in the U.S. session and then the reversal back inside of the high of Asia and the break in structure in the Europe-London window. So... I gave it uh, two thoughts today. I was in a mind to not trade, and I'll, I'll say why. Uh, as we walk through the pairs we talk about in the playbook, again on page 26, the opening range and the initial balance. Very important. So coming back to our move from the low of the week, we had Fed on Wednesday, the reversal on Thursday, and then payrolls on Friday. I have virtually no idea where this market is potentially going to go, and no setups for me when I look at what currently was heading into the U.S. session, my initial balance. Uh, whether this moved or didn't move wasn't even an issue for me. It just was not an ideal situation. And the day itself was telling me that if I did trade, I needed to be very specific about what I looked for. So we had a move on the Canadian dollar yesterday. We talked about this still on the front side. That broke structure in the Asian session. And then we had the lower high in the gap that got taken out, lower high on the inside in a strong bull market was the potential formula for the dump and pump continuation. Again, not an opportunity that, although this gave 25 plus easy pips, I am very uh, leery to go long, especially up that high. So again, not even on my radar. Pound and Euro were both still slow moving, dropping slowly, uh, lethargically, not an ideal setup for me. Uh, lower lows, lower highs. I just get very cautious. We did have uh, Federal Chairman Powell speaking at noon. Federal Chairman Powell speaking at uh, noon, North American, New York time. And at 1230, uh, Bank of Canada Governor Macklem speaking. So again, my thesis was this could have either exploded at some point today or done nothing or whatever. And I just had generally no idea 
uh, of any particular setup at this stage. Uh, we're making lower lows, but we're we're trapping traders lower and lower. And we're not really moving a lot, and that for me is a recipe for red flag to avoid. The euro is still on the front side of the move. Obviously, we could expect some kind of move at some point to reverse this, but at this stage, there's just nothing there that really stood out to me as actually being tradable uh, in terms of putting myself into the market and be willing to trade this type of situation. West Texas and spot crude again first green day. Uh, the market continued to make higher highs. I was more sort of looking for maybe a high to be put in place, not too much further above the previous breakout low and then potentially a market that gave the squeeze or the long trade sort of back down away from that high of the day. Uh, again, uh, 150 pips, if you measure this high that they did put in place, this was three levels of rise from the breakout high of the day. So I thought there was the possibility they may do a similar situation to yesterday after they broke structure. Auction down and then go back up. Uh, again, something that I just felt extra cautious with today. We did get the break in structure, uh, but that market moved lower and did the short squeeze before continuing up with the first green, green day thesis. Gold, I had already made a conscious decision to not even bother looking at. As you can tell, we're getting narrower and narrower. Our initial balance is in place. And my, just to come back and remind traders, this is the type of days these are the type of days that we make big money on. So when I look at the market in these conditions, uh, this is where I get extra cautious. We're moving sideways. We're in a narrow range. Uh, I know that some traders are in scalping and, and sitting and waiting. I just was not in the mindset at all to put myself into that situation and not even interested whatsoever to look at gold. Uh, but coming back to both Euro Yen and Pound Yen, day three reversal trades, my next thesis was the Japanese yen. We had a failed breakout. Uh, the low hanging fruit is just the pump and dump situation. Uh, I felt very cautious and said that I would give this uh, market uh, into the New York Open to see how it's set up. It continued to play out as it. Uh, I watched the other two pairs and they both continued with their downward move. Uh, after New York Open, we right at the end of the hour, into the first 15 minutes of the second hour, we get our engulfment. And it blew right off, and I felt uh, that was a gift because the rest of the markets, uh, to me, are extremely um, delicate to right now, and I'm waiting for them to give me some indication of a direction or a breakout. And uh, the yen was just an easy, low-hanging fruit, 50 pips with zero stress. And uh, again, coming back to our universal five-minute entry criteria, this market drop down and then again we wait for the pump so some traders who may have gotten in early uh, still uh, the only difference again is that if you entered into this trade early is that you either had to sit through another hour so again the universal entry for if you entered in right on the first five minutes uh, sorry uh, first part of the hour uh, you either had to sit through another hour of stress in terms of that auctioning back up in your position or you went to break even and got stopped out. So the timing cycle is critical. Again, this drop down is the, is the clue because we haven't had a pump up yet and sometimes uh, traders get into this and expect that that is going to be the pump and sometimes it may follow through. But as soon as this goes sideways, either cutting the trade but sticking with the original thesis, the pump and then the dump, that's the low hanging fruit continuation trade. Uh, to me, uh, this was the only clean setup that that I felt comfortable with. And again, I'm biased to the downside, whereas the Euro Yen itself actually played out probably the best of all three. So the trade did play out on the, on the Yen, zero stress, zero heat. Um, again, New York Open, U.S. dollar, just something that, uh, like anything else, uh, when it sets up right, uh, as we go back to our 15-minute chart, we had the failed breakout, the break in structure, the push back up, the, f the collapse without falling through, New York Open, the pump up, beginning of the second hour for the breakout of the low of the day. 
Again, zero about the S&P interested me. Well, you can see again our initial balance. We are just sitting in a horizontal range, and this still has not broken a level. So coming back to last week's high, we have day one, day two, day three, Monday. So now in the fourth day and second day of the consolidation, our initial balance is still narrow range. Our, our news calendar for the rest of the week we have uh, Fed tomorrow morning, 9.15 New York. Uh, Fed member Williams speaking at 9.15. Uh, pound, 4.45 a.m. Thursday, New York time. Monetary policy report hearings. GDP on Friday, 2 a.m. And then the Canadian employment change at 8.30 New York time on Friday. And pre prelim U of M consumer sentiment, 10 a.m. on Friday. Again, NASDAQ, very similar, still inside of our opening range on our initial balance day two. Potentially maybe a first green day, no idea, but just not an ideal condition. I could not identify anything about a best trade setup on any of these indexes, including the DJ30. So uh, my sixth sense told me today to stay clear and just look for something simple when, if in doubt, uh, low-hanging fruit is a go-to setup, and we had those both Euro Yen and Pound Yen breaking down on day three uh, on our Tuesday uh, for a nice, after three levels of rise, both breaking down beautifully in the London session for traders. The go-to setup then is the low-hanging fruit. There, the hot chick. Pound, had or, Pound Yen had already broken out of the daily low. Euro Yen still room to fall. And then the Yen, once New York opened, followed suit. So keep it simple, traders, in these types of conditions, uh, we want to be able to, as I mentioned, protect our capital, protect our psychological capital, and stick to easy best trade setups. No need to go looking to try and read price action and, and take a low probability 50-50 situation in the market. Look for a 90-10 opportunity or where there is a significant opportunity that may yield an easy trade setup. So keep it simple. Enjoy your day. Day two, interesting week so far. Uh, whenever we get this narrow coiling happening, uh, that often precedes a potentially explosive move later in the week. Enjoy your day, and may the markets go with you.